At the School of Computer Science at the University of Manchester, we're really excited about the Raspberry Pi to get people more into coding. This summer we've had a group of students work for us producing a range of activities that teachers can use in schools. One of the activities is the bird box. We hope that this will get people that are interested in nature to be interested in computer science. We've also got the Great British Raspberry Pi Bake Off, which is a competition that schools can enter, but also the hobbyist community. We'll be telling you more about that later. Okay, here we have the Pi Face Bird Box. We have two infrared trip beams, essentially. Uh, so we've got infrared LED on the outside and infrared LED on the inside, and then two detectors as well. And so uh, when the beam is broken, we can pick that up from the, the Pi Face. And in our code, we can detect whether the outside beam was broken first or the inside beam, and therefore work out whether the bird was leaving or entering, and then keep a count and also work out how fast it was going. Okay, so we can have a, a camera in the bird box, and when the either we can have it recording all the time, or when the beams are broken, we can take action shots and just get the most important moments. Okay, so here we have the, the Ethernet cable going into the Raspberry Pi, and that's what we're sending our messages over. Um, but we've taken two wires from the Ethernet cable that aren't used in most protocols um, and connect them up to the, the pin terminals uh, of the Pi face, which can then be uh, used to power the Raspberry Pi itself as well as the Pi face. Um, and then on the other end of this Ethernet cable, we've again um, cut these, these wires and connected them to a USB and then plugged that in for, for the power. So you only need one wire going in and out of your birdhouse.